السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلاب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نبدأ محاضرتنا موضوعنا orthogonal orthogonal and ortho normal systems In a vector space, V, a basis means a set of linearly independent. Independent vectors such that any vectors such that any vector in V. will be written will be written as a linear combination of the elements in the in the basis since an inner product an inner product permits to establish when two vectors are orthogonal in an inner product space In an inner product space, we can introduce the concept the concept of this is page number one. The concept of orthonormal basis. Mal basis. Where the condition Where the condition of linearly independence of linearly independence 
will be replaced by the orthogonality condition by the orthogonality condition so we can also here benefit from linearly independent and replace the orthonormal the, the linearly independence by the orthogonality condition so we now take definition of orthogonal let V with inner product B and inner product space a family a family of non zero. vectors s is equal to phi i belongs to v without zero vector that's zero of v says that i belongs to i is called An orthonormal sorry an orthogonal system an orthogonal system we say this phi i an orthogonal system without zero if for any two distinct vectors and for all i j belongs to i with I is not equal to J in our product phi I with phi J is equal to zero. And the uh, notation for phi I orthogonal to phi j phi i orthogonal to phi j this notation this notation it's page number two s now s is called An orthonormal system. An ortho normal system. Ortho normal system. If norm of phi i is equal to one for all i belongs to capital i so we call it this orthonormal 
system. Now, autonomous system that mean any two different vectors inner product is equal to zero, and any inner product with with himself with itself equal to one. So we call this system orthonormal system. Have to satisfy both conditions. This equal to zero, and this norm i phi i equal to one. We call this system orthonormal system. Now we take a remark. Remarks number one every orthogonal system can be formed can be sorry can be tanned into orthonormal system this is remark every orthogonal system every orthogonal system can be turned into orthonormal system this is need to check we check if s is equal to phi i belongs to v without zero v such that I belongs to capital I is an orthogonal system then we can always Construct a new vector, new vectors by i hat. This is a new vector, we can construct it equal to phi i of our norm of phi i. For all I belongs to capital I. Such that norm of phi I hat is equal to 1 for all I belongs to capital I. How can we know this is equal to 1? This page number three, and this now we can show that this is equal to one. Another product phi i hat phi i hat is equal to. And this is by definition phi i hat equal phi i of our norm of phi i. This is phi i of our norm of phi i. And also this, this is here phi j. Sorry, phi j. Phi i hat and phi j hat. 
This is also equal to phi j of our norm of phi j. This is inner product by definition. Now we can move this out of inner product equal to 1 over norm of phi i, norm of phi j. Inner product phi i phi j. And this is equal what? This is equal to 0. This is equal to 0 by definition. So this is zero. Hence, S hat, this is a new set, S hat is equal to phi i hat, says so that i belongs to capital I, is an orthogonal system because all different vectors equal to zero so this is we call it orthogonal now we have to show this is is orthonormal And how can we know that this is inner product equal to 1? Phi i hat. How can prove this is equal to 1? This is equal to if we take square here, this is equal to phi i hat phi i hat and this is equal to phi i hat our phi i our phi norm of phi i and this is equal phi i our norm of phi i. This is by definition of phi hat. And we can move this out. Cool. Norm of phi i. We can say square here because this is the same. 1 over phi i norm of phi i square and phi i phi i and this is equal to 1 over phi i square norm of this is equal to norm of phi i square and this cancel with this so this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 so the system Hence, hence, S hat called phi I hat such that I belongs to I is ortho normal system. This is page number. Four. And second remark. The second remark. If phi is orthogonal. to each 
phi 1, phi 2, until phi n belongs to S, the set, then phi is orthogonal to every linear combination linear combination a psi of phi 1 phi 2 until phi n we can check that if phi is orthogonal to all of these vectors in S phi 1 phi 2 to phi n then phi <coughs> If orthogonal for all of them, then phi is orthogonal to every linear combination of these vectors. Then phi is orthogonal to every <coughs> linear combination of these vectors. Check, we can check this remark. Let a psi is equal to linear combination i is equal to 1 to n alpha i phi i this is linear combination and by definition phi i phi j phi sorry phi i phi phi i is equal to zero for all I is equal one to n. That means this phi is orthogonal with all phi's from one to n. Then <coughs> another product phi with epsi. This is epsi is a linear combination on of any. Uh, any linear combination of these vector, vectors phi i this is equal to phi inner product phi with summation i from 1 to n alpha i phi i and this is equal to we can move this out summation i from 1 to n alpha i conjugate here because this here so move out conjugate and still this phi phi i is equal to what this is equal to zero because this is here phi phi i is equal to zero and this is phi phi i equal to zero so this is zero and this is last proof third remark an orthogonal system spans a sub a subspace of V. That mean span S subset of V. Span S is equal to a psi belongs to V such that a psi is equal to summation I belongs to I alpha i phi i zero v belongs to span s since 
phi i is equal to zero v. And this is for all i belongs to i implies that alpha i is equal to zero for all i belongs to i. This is page number five. We explain this remark. An orthogonal system spans a subspace of V spans IE <coughs> IE span S subset of V and span S equal set of linear combination of this file or zero also here by I not equal to zero and this i implies alpha i equals zero for all i. So this is correct. Now we take this theorem. Theorem. Finite orthogonal system are linearly independent, linearly, linearly independent. Finite orthogonal system always will be linearly independent. We know what is mean that linearly independent. Proof. Let, let V with be an inner product be an inner product space and s is equal to phi 1 until phi n such that phi i belongs to v without 0 v For all i belongs to i, capital I. This is it. B, an orthogonal system. B, an orthogonal system. For V. Now we have, we have to show that phi 1 until phi n are linearly, sorry, linearly independent. i.e. 0 v is equal to alpha 1 phi 1 plus until alpha n phi n 1 over alpha 1 equal to until alpha n is equal to 0 we have to show this. Now let, this is page number six.
let 0 v is equal to summation i1 equal 1 to n alpha i phi i then 0 is equal to inner product summation i from 1 to n alpha i phi i with summation i j sorry j from 1 to n alpha j phi j why this is equal to zero because this alpha i phi i summation alpha i phi i i from 1 to n equal to zero so this is zero this is the inner product with any vector will be zero so this is because this is zero so inner product this with this is equal to zero now this is equal to we can move this both summations this and this out and this is alpha i and alpha j also out of inner product this is equal i from i equal one from one to n and summation j equal one to n alpha i alpha j conjugate this is alpha j conjugate this is alpha i this is alpha i Inner product with phi j and this is not equal to zero only if i is how j just with i is how j this is will be not zero all of them because phi i and phi j this is what this is what this is <coughs> orthogonal system so if phi i different from phi i phi j this is will be zero if phi i j equal to phi j so this will be not equal to zero just with different and um, if the same will be if the if they are different this will be zero So this is equal to this is summation now summation i from one to n alpha i conjugate. So we take we take just when i equal j i equal to j this is will be not zero. If i not equal to j this is will be zero. So this move. So this will be zero and we take now just i from one to n inner product phi i with phi i here because this just if i is equal to j will be not zero if i equal to j this will be zero so this we can move from here and now this is equal to summation i from 1 to n alpha i absolute value alpha i square and this is will be norm of phi i square since phi i belongs to s set of implies that phi i is not equal to zero v this is not zero we conclude that norm of phi i is greater than zero this is norm of phi i this is greater than, greater than zero This is greater than zero, not zero. Hence, hence, 
This is, look, look here. This is equal to zero. This is equal to zero. And this is greater than zero. So how can this equal to zero? Just if alpha i square zero. If alpha i square equal to zero, then just with this condition, this summation will be zero. Because this impossible to be zero. Because this is greater than zero. So have to be alpha i square alpha i square is equal to zero and this implies alpha i equal to zero for all i equal one to n should be all of them zero So alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha n. This will be equal to 0. This is finished proof. I think you are understand this theorem. I can repeat the proof of this theory. Look, finite orthonormal orthogonal system will be, should be, have to be linearly independent. And now we take this is vector space and this is this the set S phi and phi n phi one to phi n are orthonormal system. This is orthonormal system for v we have now to prove this theorem we have to show that phi 1 to phi n are linearly independent what mean linearly independent that mean in mathematics if linear combination of phi 1 to phi n equal to 0 then all of phi 1, phi 2, phi n equal to 0. Now we have to show that we take this is equal to 0 and now this is, this is here, we take it equal to 0. Here, this is here. This is the same. This is here equal to 0 and this is we take this equal to 0. This summation alpha i phi i equal, uh, equal to 0 v. And this then this is equal to zero this inner product equal to zero because this zero so this vector zero and with any vector equal to be zero, have to be zero now moves both summations out with alpha alpha i and alpha j move out of move it move them out of inner product here summation i from one to n here summation from j j from 1 to n and here move alpha i and this uh, this is alpha alpha conjugate and look look at this <coughs> inner product phi i phi j phi j this is will be zero for all i uh, phi i is not equal to phi j so this is will be zero and if if phi i i i equal to j if i equal to j this will be not zero so we take just i equal to j so we need one summation because this is just i equal to j so i from one to n and here alpha i alpha j equal be absolute value alpha this is the same we take i equal to j so alpha i alpha j alpha i sorry alpha i alpha i conjugate equal to absolute value of square alpha i square and this is will be alpha phi i phi i because we take i equal to j and now this is equal to norm of phi square 
phi i square since phi i belongs to s implies that phi i is not equal to zero because this is non-zero vectors because this is by definition elements of s without zero so this is not equal to zero all of them non-zero vector we can include that this is vector this is norm is greater than zero so if the sum this is equal to zero and this is not zero have to be alpha i equal to be zero so if this is equal to zero for all i that mean alpha one alpha two to until alpha n equal to zero so that we uh, conclude Alpha, uh, phi i is orthonormal system is sorry is linearly independent is linearly be, linearly independent good luck good luck good luck